Hey guys, Joe Grunfast here. This is my first ever tutorial vid, and I thought I'd give you kind of a broad overview on the development of my War Machine concept. I first blocked out elements using a combination of ZBrush and 3D Studio Max. Utilizing tools and primitives from both programs, uh, I played around with a lot of different shapes and proportions, just trying to find some interesting silhouettes for the armor. I had taken a stab at this guy a few years prior when I was learning Max, but was unsatisfied with the results and frankly, I knew I could do better. Borrowing inspiration mostly from the comics uh, and images of real life military equipment, I Imagine War Machine as having uh, kind of a more industrial, modular look, keeping in theme with the character's uh, exterior weapon attachments and contrasting a bit to the sleek, organic Ferrari feel of the regular Iron Man armor. Range of motion was also a consideration, so I used Max to rig and test animate the joints, modifying where necessary so the plating collapsed and moved in a plausible way around the rigged human underneath. Now, I was incredibly fortunate to have the guidance of a good friend and mentor, concept artist Yariv Newman, for the next stage, which was done in ZBrush. We thought it would be more interesting to give the character a story depicting War Machine in the heat of battle. The decision to add some serious damage to the armor, particularly uh, blowing off the right arm, provided opportunity to better convey the idea that there was a human inside actually driving it, as well as revealing a lot of the mechanical bits uh, beneath the main plates. I ended up converting the entire armor to Dynamesh, which at the time was a new ZBrush feature. Uh, I sculpted damage by using an array of brushes like uh, the Clay Build-Up, Move, Pinch, and Standard, uh, various others, dragging scratch pattern alphas, as well as a range of masking methods. Uh, I then projected all of the detail onto a Sub-D version, which was created by decimating and Z-remeshing a duplicate of the Dynamesh. I also used UV Master for unwrapping and prep for poly painting, and uh, the overall proportions and pose of the character were constantly tweaked and refined along the way with uh, the move brush and transpose tools. Now I did end up actually poly painting the entire armor, uh, utilizing masking and the dual and triple shaders to create some cool paint chipping effects. Uh, the aim was to use BPR to create a photo reel render, which would then be supplemented in Photoshop with uh, background and uh, as well as some other scenery elements. Um, after a few tests, my, my mentors, however, being kind of the, the brutal critiquers that they are, suggested I give V-Ray a shot instead. So I imported everything back to 3D Studio Max, configured some V-Ray shaders, and uh, got some pretty cool results. Then all progress came to a halt. Gary had called me to let me know that he had shown the piece to another prominent concept artist who suggested I should be instead focusing on original character pieces. That fan art actually doesn't quite make for the best addition to concept art portfolios. Honestly, by this point, I was eager to move on to original characters anyway, so we decided to finish off the piece as a badass ZBrush sculpt instead. Bringing it back to BPR, I learned uh, the settings of the timeline function to generate some rendered camera moves for a final turntable animation. Uh, I was also uh, even able to generate Z-depth passes by uh, turning the ambience up on the basic shader and using a black fog filter in the render properties dialog. A little sweetening uh, in After Effects, and there you have it. As a show of support for the CG community, I've made the full model available for a free download. Uh, and I invite any who are interested to go and check it out. I hope you found this little feature at useful. And if anyone has any questions or if you'd like me to uh, go into further detail about any stage of the development of this guy, please feel free to add a post in this thread. Special thanks, of course, to Yariv Newman, all the colleagues and pros out there who thought this piece was cool and worth completing, not to mention my awesome fiance for her support and putting up with my continuous strings of cursing during 4 a.m. ZBrush sessions. This is Joe Grunfast signing off.